first question is, tell me something about yourself. Hello, my name is Zane Hemsworth. I am 18 years old and a freshman here at Temple. At Temple, I am currently studying in the Fox School of Business, and also I am pursuing a business career. Prior to my education here at Fox and Temple, I attended Perkiom and Valley High School. At Perkiom and Valley, I was an active member of the Rotary Interact Club, the ice hockey team, and also the lacrosse team. As an active member of Rotary Interact, I helped coordinate and run various charity events. For example, I helped to run the 5K walk and run, the breakfast social, and also a charity bake sale. This organization was nonprofit, and all the proceeds benefited right back to the Perkiom and Valley community. As I said earlier, I was a member of the ice hockey and lacrosse teams. I was a varsity player on both for the first four years of my high school. And the last two years, I was also a captain on both teams. As a captain, you have to know how to be a leader. You have to know how to rally the troops. This is something that I've learned in HRM as well. Good leadership skills can help a business to prosper. And that's what I've gotten out of hockey and lacrosse the most. I figured out how to inspire people, how to make them better. They valued me and respected me because of this. I took into part their decisions and we prospered as a team. The values that leadership in sports has taught me carry on throughout my life and I hope to see them prosper in the business career somewhere down the road. The second question is Name one significant accomplishment that you have achieved in your lifetime. A significant accomplishment in my life would be getting into college. All throughout my life, school has taught me that one day I will have to go to college to get a career. From grade school through 12th grade, I've been taught to always keep up on your work and never give anything half your desired work ethic. You have to submit your work on time because there are no late dates in the business world. There are three other steps that help you get to college. You need to be able to manage your time well, you need to be involved outside of school, and you have to do good on standardized tests. Outside of school, I was a member of the Rotary Interact Club at my high school, Perky Omen Valley. I was also a member of the ice hockey team and the lacrosse team. Through Rotary Interact and hockey and lacrosse, I taught myself how to keep track of my assignments and when their due dates came. Because getting behind on your work is a bit strenuous at times. You begin to stress out and you figure out that you're not giving your best effort on your assignments. Teachers would rather see a good assignment that you spent time on rather than a crappy assignment that you haven't. As in the business world, this is true. Besides being out of school, time management is key. Key. Also, you need to gear yourself to be able to take a standardized test. Time management and out of school involvement are only half the battle. Being able to take the SATs and pass with a good store is the other half of the battle. Myself, I took the SATs three times because I wasn't satisfied. My hard work and perseverance on my third test gave me the grade I wanted and eventually helped me fight my battle into getting accepted at Temple University. The third question is, name something that you've learned in class. This semester, Professor Petrucci has really taught me a lot about the business world and the world's ever-changing economy. But there are two things that I would like to key in on. He has taught me how to become not only a manager, but also an inspirational leader. He has also taught me how to manage my time very well. I'll start off with time management. Um, it is very important as a college student to be able to manage your classes and assignments very well because in the career world or the future business world, there are no late dates. You can't uh, submit a project late and expect your boss to be happy. There are due dates for a reason. That's when your project is due. 
So I value the time management aspects that P Professor Petrucci has taught me. He's also taught me to become a very inspirational leader. You need to be able to motivate your team rather than just boss them around to work with you. A manager often fails because he lacks leadership skills. If you lack leadership skills, your team will not support and respect you the way you may respect your team. An inspirational leader often has a successful team wrapped around him because he puts them up, inspires them, and inspects great work out of them. They give him the great work as feedback because he has the charisma and input to the group that they expect from a leader. As a leader, Professor Petrucci has taught me that you can do anything you want in this world. You can lead a company, you can re lead a team, you can coach anything. As long as you have the ability to motivate and pursue the end goal, your people will follow you and you will get a great end result.